You know what it is, it's the Vandal Hour Live, DJ Clef on the ones and twos, I'm your boy E. Sinatra, stay tuned, we're going live in a couple minutes. Burn shit down like a futurist and run a town like a no fugitive. I could choose the school of students in the class. As fast, I had a mouth looking like a cute glass. Do the math, total concentration. Confident, pondering goal is observation. Proper training was vital to the torture. I'm a warrior. Took me fireballing you and off and your entire songs are worthy of a bomb off. And I'm right 16 to write from a light 16 to give them something they can bump to help ignite their dreams. My insight seems to stretch too limited for these wretched living. I embrace it all. You involved in nepotism. Everybody knows you are number one groupie Screaming out loud, oh Carmen, do me Uh, ice cold, maniacal, maestro 
control the square wherever my dice roll Amidst the beast, we search for peace Squad deep concrete elite, leaving your beat Hardcore, and that's without the golden fleeces Raw that'll leave your forehead with creases Nephews and nieces, I learn and teach with We stand beyond the reach of facetious speeches Burn leeches, the one-on-one -on -one ain't half as fun The opposition, come on son Defend creeds by any means, OP the power team Anomalies, making collard greens, monopolize the rap scene With prophecy, shell esteem, and unseen hand Moving faster than I, six wide jumping out of fans, man Can you stand next to a Demi guard when you barely hard frog Gone with force of Benny Kong, still trying to master it The pain still masking it, new way trap, how they girls more masculine Play wrong, jumping on the drum, no fumbling Got the more effort at white man cunning White man cunning, white man cunning I really started from the bottom They told me go get him, I got him Fuck with my pesos, we gon' have a problem No dick, but I got a can and I'm wildin' All about the cream like a nigga that was shallin' But all of this money, my face, I'm a solid It's the band that I will live on DTFRadio.com Shout out to J-Star, he's out in Ohio right now Doing his thing, keep your head up, baby boy Watch what you say or you gonna get choked Fuck with my dollars, you gonna get smoked My brothers is letting it go my hitters is letting it blow Money like hair and I'm letting it grow Okay now please do not fuck with my dollars Burberry all in my collar I'm a pit bull, you chihuahua I work when I want and you work by the hour I'm making it rain while your girl in the shower I don't say much but you know my loud louder Down to them niggas pull out the red flowers Down to them niggas pull out the red flowers Okay now please do not fuck with my dollars Dollars. Please do not fuck with my peso Please do not fuck with my moolah Mommy come here give me bass on off the hook, that be the team. The team. Front and get hit with a beam. A beam. Call it codeine, how I'm making you lean. I'm J Star, the person you making me scream like. Please don't fuck with my dollars. Please don't fuck with my dollars. Now, Caprine. Nah. Okay, 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 now. Please don't fuck with my dollars. Okay, now. Please don't fuck with my dollars. Caprine. Caprine. Bow down, nigga. I'm your sensei. Okay, okay. Burn shit down like a futurist and run a town like a no fugitive. I could choose the school of students in the class. The spaz that had a mouth looking like they chewed glass. You do the math, total concentration. Confident, pondering, can hold his observation. Proper training was vital to the torture. I'm a warrior, to be fireball like you and off and your entire songs aren't worthy of a bomb off. And I don't write 16 to write them a light of 16 to give them something. Nigga, bump to help ignite their dream. My insight seems to stretch too limited for these wretched lizards. I embrace it all, you involved in nepotism. You keep that sex appeal, rockin' five and chill. Suckin' one, two, three, four dicks for a deal. But you need to sit back and relax. You and I know you ain't got it like that. My girl, I put a six and a half in your back. So don't be comin' out your face, cause you don't know me like that. Don't let this 
pretty face for ya Take this fucking microphone and put it right through ya Everybody knows you my number one groupie Screaming out loud, oh Carmen, do me uh. Ice cold, maniacal maestro Control the square wherever my dice roll Amidst the beast, we search for peace Squad deep, concrete elite, leaving your beat Hardcore, and that's without the golden fleeces Raw, that'll leave your forehead with creases Nephews and nieces, I learn and teach with You stand beyond the reach of facetious speeches Burn leeches, a one-on-one -on -one ain't half as fun The opposition, come on, son The fact means by any means OP the power team, anomalies Making collard greens, monopolize the rap scene With prophecy, Celestine, unseen hand Moving faster than the I-6 Why jumping out of fence, man? Can you stand next to a Debbie car When you barely hard frog Armors for some penny calm Still trying to master it Pain still masking it New way trap How they girls more masculine Play Ron coming on the drum No fumbling Drop the ball never that White man cunning White man cunning What's poppin', man? Peace Vandals. It's your boy East Sinatra live on DTFradio.com. Uh, make sure you tune in each and every Saturday night live from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. You can also watch us live on DTF Radio's Ustream page. You can also check us out on the TuneIn app, but you, it only works on the TuneIn app when we're live. So check that out. If you missed any of the old episodes, you can go to YouTube, uh, search for DTF Radio, look for the DTF logo, click that, and you find most of our past episodes up there. You can also go to our website, right now which is www.thevandalawa.net and see a lot of the old episodes up there the website is still under construction but you can still go check it out and check some of the videos there make sure you check out our audio mac for the episodes that do not make it up to the youtube page um for instance episodes like the elvis episode jd episode and the fuck crew episode you can just go to www.audiomac.net uh, uh, backslash artist backslash the Vandalawa and you'll be able to listen and, and see all those episodes that are not up on YouTube I'm telling you the audio Mac page is, is something that a lot of people are not up on we use it here in the Vandalawa it's one of the best best free apps out there uh, you can also get on our Facebook Twitter and website through that audio Mac page if you caught our last couple episodes then you know already my co-host uh, Facts on Wax is incarcerated. He will uh, be back with us soon. So hold your head, Facts. And anybody who's out there, um, you want to show him love, you can hit him up on his Instagram, which is Facts on Wax. You can DM him, and we'll make sure that we send all love and all the messages right back to him. And uh, just to let you know, he's doing good, and he'll be back with us here shortly. Um, tonight sitting in for Facts on Wax We have a person that's been writing since the early 90s uh, He's part of the DTF family He's worked with James Top His work has been featured in galleries and magazines He is also the executive producer of the show The Cypher Show here on DTF Radio And it is my pleasure to introduce Crip DLG Yo, yo, yo What up, what up, what up everybody um, It's a pleasure to be here I look forward to co-hosting the show Thanks to Mr. Knock for having me Definitely, man, and thank you once again for stopping by. Anytime. How you feeling tonight, man? I'm doing good, man. It's a Saturday night. I'm ready to go party after this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Maybe, maybe put some of those cans to use. Uh-oh. It's going to be a, a crazy Saturday night, I see, and it's still early. It's still early. Um, I know you do a lot of things, Crip, but what you got going on right now? Uh, well, right now we got the Cypher Show every Friday, 9 to 11 on DTF Radio. Okay. I'm also working with James Top. He's the person who puts together the Graffiti Hall of Fame every year. So uh, this Thursday, we have an art show up in Harlem. It's at the one Exhibit 1A Gallery. So that's something that's going on. The, it's sponsored by The Source Magazine. So if anybody want to come out, you could check out... Uh, I'm, I'm going to put it on the Vandal Hour page through, through Knock over there so you get oh, all the information. Definitely. And then once again, man, thank you for stopping by. Oh, man, thanks for having me. Definitely yeah. be many, many more nights that you will see Crip Dog up here with us at the Vandal Hour. Uh, quickly, I just want to let everybody else know, we also do have a special guest tonight in the building. Um, she is probably running a little bit late today, so we're going to keep you update on that. But just so you know, she's a radio host. Uh, she's been in the game for a long time, man. She's been a part of Hot 97, Power 1051, and she's considered one of the big homies here at DTF for her show, The SL Program, which comes on every Thursday night from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. live on dtfradio.com. Uh, she's also an actress, TV personality, um, HU alumni, and it's my pleasure to let you know that Steph Lover will be in the building with us later on. So stay tuned for that. Um, also, guys, you know, weather's changing. A lot of things are, are going on, and 
it's gonna get a little more crazier now. The streets are getting crazy. So I just, I seen a lot of shit going on this weekend. So I just wanna let everybody out there in the streets. Weather's getting better, man. Stay on point, hold your head. On another note, I wanted to give a big shout out to all the Denver, Colorado vandals that participated in designing the first Vandal Hour uh, billboard in Colorado. It was done by Reps, HDMTMR, Crush Proof, Taste, ATT, FUA, and Skevs. Um, if you go to our Instagram, it's up on our Instagram. There's a couple videos and pictures up there of the actual piece and well, the billboard that's up all the way in Denver, Colorado. Uh, the billboard was done at a spot called Owl and Orchard Tattoo located at uh, 3932 Federal Boulevard, Denver, Colorado. Shout out to uh, Pistol, Dread, Aaron, uh, Kremer, and Pope. Those are the homies out there that, that run that situation. They showed the Vandal Hour Mad Love, so we appreciate that. Shout out to Community Service, the clothing store. They showed the Vandal Hour Mad Love. They're located at 3356 S Broadway, in, uh, Inglewood, Colorado. Shout out to the Cypher Shop, which is right next door to Community Service. That's where they got the paint for that Vandal Hour billboard. They showed us Mad Love, so Mad Love to them, and Mad Love to Denver, Colorado for holding us down the way they did. Uh, make sure you look out for the uh, Vandal Hour billboards coming to a state near you. Yes, I said state. I heard Chicago will be the next joint popping up, so you never know. Stay tuned for that. Keep your eyes open and let us know. On another note, a lot of things happening. I, I, I'm a Yankee fan. Let me just get that out the way real quick. Yeah. But uh, the Mets were on an 11-game winning streak. Yeah, Yankees yeah. kind of threw that off uh, <laughs> Friday night with, with the loss, and then the Mets played again tonight against the Yankee Subway Series, and the Mets took the victory tonight, unfortunately. Yeah, 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 they blew eight them two. out 8-2. to two. Yeah, well, it was a great... This guy, what's this new pitcher? Had this whole thing going with him, Harvey. Uh, Matt Harvey. You got yeah. this Batman whole thing. It got the fans crazy. I don't know if that's what's helping the Mets, but they're doing great. They're leading the MLB uh, league right now as far as wins. So shout out to them and shout out to all the Mets fans out there and all the Yankee fans. It's always good when we have the Subway Series in the city. Um, On a way other note, um, Bruce Jenner. <laughs> Whoa. You know what's crazy? Before I even get into that, if it, the the women in that family have like a enigma that if you don't work out with them, your life is just fucked. And destroyed. Right after that. Yep. Um so he came out and did an interview with Barbara Walters. And yeah, I saw it. I was home doing nothing, so I watched the fucking interview. Um <laughs> I ended up watching it too. It, it wasn't that bad. What I found a little bit crazy was during the interview, well, I, guys, he's going through the transformation of being a, a woman. He hasn't done the surgeries yet, but he's going all the way through it. For the people who don't know Bruce Jenner, that is the Kardashians' mom's ex-husband. Um, he's going to be having a sex change. But what's crazy is that he tried to tell Barbara Walters something like, um, you know, I, I still like women, yeah, but I have a soul of a woman which i thought was a little bit crazy he's a lesbian I, I i i guess so i mean it's just crazy like when reggie bush left well when they separated with kim kardashian i don't know if you know they like took all his college records away he broke all mostly all the you know rushing touchdown records and somehow some way it was stripped from him. Damn. And yeah. you all know the Lamar Odom situation. Smoking crack in the bathroom. And now, the fucking husband wants, wants to be a bitch. I guess maybe being around the women, he figured there's a lot more money on that side of the fence. The crazy shit is that he said he's been wanting to be a woman since the 80s. Yeah, man. He started taking uh, the drugs to change the hormone them, pills the hormone and stuff. Pills from the 80s. He said it was uncomfortable his whole time in his marriage. He said he was actually feeling like he wasn't being himself, which <laughs> was know, which man. was crazy. So was crazy. that's what's going on over there. Um, stay away from the Kardashians, man. Um, if also for all the high life people out there. 420 had recently passed, and if you notice on our Instagram. Um, the executive director was out there in Colorado. They had the piece done. A lot of things were going on. It wasn't as big as it usually is for me. I mean, social media, everybody had their little posts, but I remember when it was like... Yeah, I remember that too. The meetups and everybody... It wasn't like that for me. Well, I don't... Maybe a couple people out there got together and did their own little thing, but my yeah. peoples didn't come through. I heard there was people smoking in Washington Square Park, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
I didn't hear much else of it. Hey, I just got a bunch of people smoking on my fucking Instagram feed. Yeah. Well, shout out to everybody. You know, it's a big thing. I, I'm I'm a stoner. I'm not a drinker. That's what I do. So shout out to everybody who enjoyed their 420 this week. Um, also, uh, a South Carolina writer by the name of Toom um, passed away. He was an OG at a freight train writer um, that was down with the mom crew. Is that correct? Mom Crew, KTC, Keep Taking Chances, Nature Boys, KTK, Known to Kill. He was also known as Stay Juiced, Stay Juiced Up. And he used to write with a female writer named Fly, who actually is the one who gave us the info, info about Toon. So we just want to give a big rest in peace out to Toon, or his family and his friends, and a big shout out to his son, Aiden. You know, may he rest in peace. Um, we're going to take a quick short music break with our DJ, DJ Clef. And when we come back, we'll have Totem, TC5, in the building, chopping up with us here at the Vandalawa. I'm Sinatra. That's Crip. We'll be right back. This money, my nigga, I'm smiling. Throw it in your face, cause I like to be child. Feels good, cause I used to be broke. Life in the hood was no joke. Had to tighten up the ropes. Watch what you say, or you gonna get choked. Fuck with my dollars, you gonna get smoked. My brothers is letting it go. My hitters is letting it blow. Money like hair, and I'm letting it grow. Okay, now please do not fuck with my dollars. 
Burberry all in my collar. my collar I'm a pit bull, you chihuahua I work when I want and you work by the hour I'm making it rain while your girl in the shower I don't say much, but you know my loud louder Down to them niggas, pull out them red flowers Down to them niggas, pull out them red flowers Okay, now please do not fuck with my dollars Dollars. Please do not fuck with my peso Please do not fuck with my moolah Mommy, come here, give me basil Off the hook, that be the team The team. Front and get hit with a beam A beam. Call it codeine, how I'm making you lean I'm Jason the person you making me scream like Please don't fuck with my dollars Please don't fuck with my dollars Now, come Okay, now, please don't fuck with my dollars Okay, now, please don't fuck with my dollars Come Friend Day Come Friend Day Bow down, nigga I'm just saying shit Please don't fuck with my dollars Please don't fuck with my dollars Niggas ain't stop my eyes Still sip, purple, but still lit. Real nigga, real bitch. Purple swag, that drill shit. Them candy cars, I'm coming down that pink drip. I still tip that pimp shit. What's poppin' Vandals, you know what it is Tonight on the Vandala we have a writer That's been around since the early 80s He's down with some with some of the illest crews in the game FC Pardon me FC and TC5 It is my pleasure to introduce to you Totem, TC5, FC, IBM What's going on man? Appreciate. Thank you for coming by to the show, man. No doubt, no doubt. Uh, we're gonna get right into the questions quickly. For the people that don't know, can you give us a little bit of background on yourself? All right. First of all, I'm Total TC5 FC IBM and TAX man. I represent you know some of the eight crews around. Um, I'm from the Heights. I represent the Heights all day. There you go. All right, right. we'll just start from the question, right? Um, for the people that don't know, can you give us a little bit of background on yourself? All right, what's going on, my brothers? Um, I'm Totem TC5, FC, IBM, FBA. Um, I'm from the Heights. I represent the Heights. Okay. I uh, started writing in the early 80s. And um, took a break for a minute, but, you know, I'm back here, man. I'm still doing my thing, baby. Definitely, definitely. Well, once again, thank you for stopping by at the no Vandal Hour. For sure. Uh, what was your uh, initial attraction to Graf? Oh, uh, man, just like any other kid growing up in, you know, back in the 80s, seeing all the joints going by, you know, walls are definitely in the trains. As a young writer, well, not even a young writer, I'm an artist itself. So, first of all, I'm an artist. Definitely. You know, that's, that's in my blood. That's my talent. It's not, it's not like a hobby I picked up, you know? I guess I was, I was blessed with born with that talent. So, boom. I'm seeing all the, you know, growing up, especially in the high school. I, I, I live near the one train. Okay. So, as I started going to school, taking the one train, she started seeing all them crazy ass pieces. I'm like, yo, shit, I want to, you know, I want to do that joint. Mm -hmm. But the shit is, you got to find out how to do it, how you Ooh. get in with, you know, yeah. the whole joint. Yeah. That took some time, you know, you got to build, I guess, your balls up to find out to do that. You gotta get all the right people. Boom, you meet niggas and you get down with crews, and from there's a rap. Mm. So that was it when you started seeing it along that's when, there? That's when I started getting into it. That's, I started taking like a little marker, a little shoe dye, whatever you could steal from the store, from your, you know, from the back. <laughs> <laughs> going into an alley. Good uh, work. You know, wherever, a wall, your roof, wherever, you know, wherever the hell you know, because I'm, I'm young, you know what I'm saying? Those guys were older, so you mm -hmm. gotta do some shit that, you know, you, I'm, worried, I'm still worried about my pops. You know, fucking me up. Yeah, come and so grab you. <laughs> so I'm doing a little sneaky spots. You know, so I got a little older and you start, you know, hanging out with your, you know, with your peoples. You start, you know, exploring right there from little by little. Walls mm -hmm. and streets. Eventually get to the train. Can I jump in real quick? Of course. When, when you first started writing, uh, who were some of the kings of the one line? Mm. Well, there's a lot of names, but I will name the crews just to, you know, because yeah. the ones I looked up to. Yeah. That's, to me, those were the kings, which is FBA. Okay. FC, TC5, basically all the crews I'm down with, that's the ones I looked up to. All right. yeah, and I, I said, you. yo, one day I'm going to get down with all these niggas, so that's why I'm going to get in where I fit in. Yeah. And mm. that's exactly what happened. I mean, I did what I got to, I had to, you know, do what I had to do to get in there. Yeah. And I rolled and boom, I'm then down that, with each, each, every crew that I wanted to be done, I got down with. 
That's uh, graffiti royalty, those crews you name. TC5, yeah. FC, definitely. IBM. IBM. All definitely. That was my yeah. first crew, you know, big shout out to Pope. But um, definitely, uh, um, yeah, man, those were the crews, bro, to yeah. me. It was, I, took, I, I, like Tone and Poke? Who? What you said, Poke? Poke. Yeah. P-O-K. Tone and Poke or just Poke? No, nah, Poke. 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 Okay. Poke. All right. Yeah, I definitely remember those guys. Shit. You know, big shout out to him. You know, he's up doing a little bit, man, but he'd be all right. He'd be home soon. Definitely yeah. shout out to him. How did you come up with the tag Totem? Because it's definitely different kind of out-of-the-box kind of name. That, that, that's weird. I was cutting school one day, right? <laughs> Elementary, I was about, I don't know, eight years old. I was, I was that young cutting stuff. <laughs> it's because there was a candy store right across the street from my, from my elementary school. Snuck out, boom. And the candy store had a pinball machine that had candy, so that's where we used to go. This pinball machine, it said totem on it with an Indian dude and it had a totem pole. Mm. I don't know what it was, the colors or something about that. That shit just stuck with you. Know, I stuck my, I'm looking at the pinball machine, I'm looking up. And I'm like, yo, totem, that's what I'm going to write. I'm going to tag as a little kid, man. You know, what the fuck? <laughs> that's the name that's and it got you that's from there. Yeah, that's still with that name since then. That was what back in at eight oh, years man. old. So that's when the yeah, name back came 89 about. Somewhere eighty? No, no, bullshit. Not eighty nine. Um, seventy nine. Okay. Someone that ever. At eight, you saw eight. the name. It was like this it is stuck it. Stuck to me. That name stuck to me. <laughs> right. That's what's up, man. Yeah, I had that name. Can you describe the graph scene back when you first started? As far as for, uh, like from now. Yeah, well, just back then, like, how was it when you were first starting? It was real. I mean, when it was really meant something. You exactly. Because I mean? we did it with a meaning, not to get paid now, you know, not, not to even be known in the industry, like, like as far as all this YouTube and internet shit. Nobody, you know, nobody's trying to, we just did it for ourselves. So the big difference is that then it was, to me, it was real, more real than what it is now. 100% definitely. You know, when whatever type of joint you did, it was more real. That's definitely one of the big differences from, I guess, then to now. Right. A lot of people definitely bring that up. Yeah, and the train never is dead now, unfortunately. Oh, that, that should be dead. Yeah. <laughs> um, when you first started writing, oh, were you were you tagging? Were you doing fills? Or did you just kind of straight go into the burden? No, no, no. You got to start tagging, man. man. You know, you can't just be born up in Costco and start doing something. <laughs> you know, the shit would be dope, but, you know, then, you know, you missed out the, the, the other stages of it. The levels. Like, any any dude started with, like, you know, what we call toys. Everybody mm -hmm. was a toy back then. Ain't nobody was a superstar. You know? Boom. You get your name. You tag it up on a piece of paper. You know, you, you, you graduate to the marker, to the mops, to the cans. Then you start doing throw-ups. You know, that's the next step. Mm -hmm. You know, some people just say, oh, I just went straight to, you know, more power to you, my brother. But you go from the tags to throw ups, maybe block letters, and that's when you start doing your burners after. That's mm -hmm. when you graduate with the characters and all that shit. But that takes talent. You got to be an artist too. You just can't, you know. And I guess, like you said, if you're doing it for yourself, mm -hmm. you definitely will want to go through all of those. All the stages. Definitely. Yeah, got got to do it the right way. How did you connect with TC5? Can you give us a little bit of background on that? Well, I went to high school of art design. So um, back in the days, uh, I got the 84. The guys were already either graduating, almost gone, but there were older guys there, like my man Doze, you know. I met a few people there. But um, that's when I kind of met them, because I already had knew about them. So I met them, I think I had met Doze back then. So then we started, I'm from the Heights. So, you know, at that time, man, you know, and she was popping in the street, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, so I, mm -hmm. I was doing, you know, I was already young, but I started doing my shit, you know, early because, I mean, shit. Exactly. In the heights, my brother. That's he, right. He was born into that shit. It was in there. So, you know, I met half of the crew because my man, this, this kid, my man named Juice used to live in my block. He was, you know, he was the, he was older. He was down, he's down with Rocksteady. Okay. GC5, all that, boom. I came peoples with him. So when I used to find out those and all the other graph writers that I looked up to were hanging with homeboy, he lived right across the street from me. I started hanging out with my man. Mm. So boom, from there we kicked it. Niggas, you know, they, they, they put me under the wing because I was young, but you know, I had heart at the time. Well, you know, still, but you know what I'm saying? That's what they liked it. Uh -huh. It's not only because you got skills. So, you know, TZ5 always said, niggas, you know, you want to get down, you got to have some type of heart. In some type of way, man. You know, it just can't be the skills. Mm -hmm. But that's how I grew into them. And from there, even though I got down with IBM first. Okay. IBM was one of my first crew. And then the crew before that, it was around the way crew we call FW. Fresh Riders. Okay. I was me, my man Cass, my man Bogey, my man Bello. So, you know, that was my first little jump. But when I graduated to the Big Dog, it was IBM. That's when I met Pope. And from there, boom, those 65, when they just escalated. And how long ago was that? Oh, man. I was, uh, 
84. Okay, From definitely whenever. long relationship with that with yeah. that crew then. That that's that's a long time, yeah, man. 84, 85, never. Besides I, besides the one line, what other lines you used to hit? I only hit the one line, I, and, and I didn't hit it hard like my my like, yeah. like my boy, like my people's my boys my crew niggas. Yeah, them niggas definitely the production of it. Yeah, I ain't hit it that hard. Yeah, cause one I ain't gonna front. I was scared of the rats back then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna front. I'm scared of them yeah, shits yeah. down. <laughs> you know, um, I, the, the the times that I did go in there, I did my little thing, boom, yeah. little few tags. I did maybe like three pieces. I ain't gonna front. I was in a you know big because of the fact. Yeah. And that time was already 85. Yeah. 86. You know. They were kind of dying down, but it wasn't. But I was already a teenager. Yeah. And that was a crack era. And that was the money era. And I, like I said, I, once again, I'm, I never knocked this. I never. I'm from the Heights, my nigga. And I, yeah. I, I went, I said, either, either make money or go on the train. Yeah. Go make my money. My mm -hmm. brother, I ain't on front. <laughs> so while these niggas are, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm 21 and I hit like 100 trains. I'm the king. I'm like, nigga, I'm 21. I'm, over, I'm, I'm almost a millionaire already. You feel <laughs> me? Yeah. So I, I took that route. Yeah, I got you. Then, you know. My son was born like in 90, my, well, my second one was born like in 92. Then I stopped for like, you know, a little, what, 14 years or something, just to raise yeah. my, my son, my see, you know, make everybody just be a dad and all that shit. So I let that shit go. I started even writing, do, doing wars. Then I just came back and started getting busy again, man. I never lost touch, man. I'm about to say, it never, it never nah, goes away. It never nah. goes away, I guess, because, you know, I'm an artist itself, so I still have the hand control, the pain control. Yeah. Excuse me. And, um... It just stood inside of me, man. I'm still rocking to this day. Nice. Definitely, man. I, I heard that TM, TC5 and TMT had a battle. Yes. Did you participate yeah. in that? Yeah. How, how was that? Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> we, all, we all good people, man. Ain't no beef there. You know, that, that's it was definitely a fun battle, you know? Of course. But in reality, you know what? What are you doing? We're going to take these niggas out. We're going to burn them. <laughs> yeah, same yeah. shit they probably say. You know what <laughs> yeah. Fuck these niggas. But at the same time, we all good people, you know? I participated in, in, in one of those. It was me. It was me seen. It was a me and seen car versus I think it was Sack and somebody else. Oh man, I forgot the name. Anyways, was it I did a turkey scene. I think it was Scheme. It was Scheme and somebody else. And, and Sack, and right? Sack, yeah. I think yeah. It was so my 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 theme was a, a a turkey joint. Like we roasting them turkeys. Yeah. <laughs> so they name is TMT. Uh -huh. So I put them motherfucking turkeys. <laughs> yeah, I put, I put a turkey inside, of, you know, inside of shit like he's boiling. I, I did a, a, a little pilgrim nigga with a big shotgun, <laughs> and the other side was the wolf the, from Bugs Bunny. I think uh -huh. Bugs Bunny with the fork that he stopped with his tongue out. Oh yeah, I yeah. Did that joint. So on, on the internet, we won. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We got the most votes and all that. But it was definitely dope, man. I mean, dope. You know, it's all good because then it's funny because um, I think I had met Sack a long time ago, but I guess we both didn't remember. One time we went to the show, and there was a bar next door. We went to the bar, and we talking, yo, whatever, whatever, you know, what's up, man? We were for the other people. He's talking about, yo, you know Sack? I'm like, oh, you Sack? Oh, I remember. He said, oh, you told him? Oh, all right, we just finished battling. And started, <laughs> you know, la laughing at the joint, you know? Make fun of me. We had a drink, and we good of course, people, man. That's what's up. She was definitely fun, brother. And uh, that okay. battle, it took place at Tough City? Uh, yeah. All right. Tough City Trains. Nice. The one in um in Fordham. In Fordham. Yeah, okay. not not um Task School joint because they got they got a train they got their own joint. Now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's dope. We're speaking about the battles. What what is the difference between these modern day kind of battles? How were the battles back then? Yo, I can't even I can't even answer that one because it wasn't even, I don't I don't remember people battling. Ah, that's battling, that's you know, a it's, big difference. Is it was just crews doing their production and each, each crew they were doing their production. Just doing their own thing. Yeah, and I mean, I guess you want to call it better if we do our own, our own train and then the next crew does their own train. We could throw a little hint, you know, like, yo, whatever. Mm -hmm. But as far as back to back, I don't I don't. Especially know. without, like, the social media being so exactly. involved. It was like, you see my work? Oh, shit, they did this. Mm -hmm. We're going to rock this fucking train now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Look, we're going to go to a quick uh, music break with DJ Clef. We'll be right back with Totem TC5 in the building. Crip is also sitting in. Free facts. Gangs in the world unify. We stand a chance against the military tonight. 
I said we stand a chance against the military tonight. I said we stand a chance against the military tonight. Babylon, Babylon. At my window, all I see is Babylon. On the news, all I see is Babylon. And all niggas do is just Babylon. I'm on hoes, I'm on money and hoes. If it's so dope, I'd have plenty of flows. I spent the projects like J Rock. I would've more than likely slang rock. On my life, I'd have been around Crips and Bloods. Pimps and Thugs, just the name of the name of the I do drugs, I'ma say it's in my club. She don't know what the fuck I've been through. To creep through the back door, the typical black boy in the good old USA. Before I push rhymes like way, I used to wanna play for the NBA. Fuck them doing talking about Tiny Glenn. Ancient ways, Sumerian. Ain't nothing wrong with a righteous man. That's why I had to write this, man. And for my niggas on the corner selling water to somebody's daughter, fluctuating prices, man. I ain't got no gavel. I ain't tryna fight nobody battle. I, I just wanna be free. I ain't tryna be nobody shadow, body shadow, body shadow, body shadow, body shadow. Wish I could see how the Selassie I Maybe my sovereignty will still be mine. If all the gangs in the world unify, we stand a chance against the military tonight. I said we stand a chance against the military tonight. I said we stand a chance against the military tonight. Hey, hey, hey. Them AK clips, they extra peel. Smoking on some of that extra kill. Purple, Urkel, that Jaleel. I put that on A thing. If we could link up A gang, and niggas is willing to bear the pain, we put the White House lights out today. Okay, KK. We modern like we the black KKK. Don't forget my AKA Mayday. P on your PhD or your AA. Hey, 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 dear Rock. I know you're just a puppet, but I'm giving you props You're lying to the public like it ain't nothing And I just love it, I hope it don't stop I don't give a damn, nigga, bang that block I don't give a fuck, nigga, bang that Glock I seen the image of Hitler in the picture when the Twin Towers dropped Concept. You got progress, you got congress We protesting, hope they confess Just proceed on your conquest I ain't got no doubt Let's go. We don't fuck with new niggas. Still out here with my day ones. Real niggas. Still out here with my day ones. I ain't going nowhere. Still out here with my day ones. If you a real nigga, I suggest you stay one. Ooh, still out here with my day ones. Ooh, still out here with my day ones. Ooh, still out here with my day ones. Yes, you stay one. Front side gateway where I bang that. Boom. Run up on King Bella, I'ma bang that. Get my hands on your dame, I'ma slay that. Pull up on the block, but the shots out of Maybach. Boom. Boom. Homie, don't play that. Hit your ass with a sock. Matter of fact, bring your ass with a mop. I don't leave the crib without the shit cop. Since the younger girls backing out guap. Big bro. One swing, then we all gon' pop. Catch him slip around here, had a young boy drag him up the street, whip his head with the Glock. That nigga. All them niggas know I rock. Catch him on the back block, put something in his top. Boop, boop. Slide off, go switch up top. Quick phone call, have a nigga send some thoughts. Do it. We don't fuck with new niggas. Still out here with my day ones. Real niggas. Still out here with my day ones. I ain't going nowhere. Still out here with my day ones. If you a real nigga, I suggest you stay one. Look, still out here with my day one. Day one. Been a real nigga in a state one. Stay one. Out here getting this money, nigga. nigga. I worry about death when that day come. Yeah. You claim you'll shoot a nigga, spray something. <laughs> I pull up, dead nigga, say something. Stay. Put it in reverse, put him in a hearse, put him in a church, little nigga. I made something. Acting like you some type of killer. <laughs> you ain't even that type of nigga. Nah. Pull up on your block when that piper, nigga. Stay. No, I ain't got shooters, got snipers, nigga. Stay. Why your hand out? I don't like you, nigga. Hammer on me now, why fight you, nigga? Why? Shut shot when I two spoke and have a nigga moonwalking, how you feelin' like Michael, nigga? Thriller. We don't fuck with new niggas, still out here with my day ones Real niggas, still out here with my day ones I ain't going nowhere, still out here with my day ones If you a real nigga, I suggest you stay one Ooh, still out here with my day ones Ooh, still out here with my day ones Ooh, Stay 
hell out here with my day ones. If you're a real nigga, I suggest you stay one. What's going on, Peace Vandals? We're back live on the Vandalawa on DTFradio.com. Right back, we'll be getting into it. Totem is in the building with us. So we're going to get right back into those questions with him, man. Outside of the crews that you're down with, what what other crews are doing uh, conceptual produ- productions that you feel are fresh? Uh, definitely T.A.T. T.A.T.? Yes. Nasty Brothers, man. Kids are nasty. Yeah, man, TAT definitely been holding it down for New York City for yeah, a long man. time. Definitely one they're of the very, best. They're very well put together, man. They, they, they do teamwork big time, bro. Yeah, they do. They're, they're, big they're shout pro- out to them, man. Their productions are insane, mm-hmm. to say the least. No, uh, when TC5 uh, when TC five or when FC does production, who comes up with the concepts behind them? Uh, usually anybody from the crew has a good idea. We just throw it up. Okay. We all get together. We plan the shit. It's not like uh, we just go on the wall and start doing crazy joys now. We, we sit down, we talk. We have the group chat, whatever it is, but we plan it out. The outlines, the colors, the scheme, the whole the whole production. The, the, whatever we're doing is, is definitely planned out. From beginning so, to end. Yeah. Well, I mean, we do have a mastermind here too. But, of course. But we all throw like a, you know, a two cents and then you know, whatever, whatever works for us, works for us, bro. So it's definitely going to be a mural that's going to be a concept to it. Always. Now, this is a quick question. For when you do a when you do a production with TC Five, like, who's the general lineup for TC Five? As far as uh, like the, the dudes who paint. Well, we all paint. I mean, yeah, right, whole, but Doc, I know is Arab. Yeah, Doc, uh, yeah, Arab, but yeah. yeah. But who else paints it you? Like, who's the members of TC Five? Oh man, I could be here for days. <laughs> <laughs> but the ones that, like I, I'm I'm close with, like a lot, you know, it's usually the same guys that we always yeah. paint. You know, mm-hmm. it could be Doc, it could be, could be Sai, it could be a. Uh, uh, um, it could be Doves, it could be Dante, uh, uh, my, my brother Zane, uh, yeah. Zia, View. Mm-hmm. I mean, not Zia, but he's, he's far away, but big shout out to Zia. Um, View, yeah. uh, Chili's Secret from Miami, the whole Miami chapter, you know, so we all, wherever, you know, we, we, got, we are, got our person, people that we close to and we yeah. do walls. Okay. But if the next man comes, but he just came yeah. from uh, Cali, then he yeah. gets down with us. So we all crew. Got you. So. Um, do paint companies uh, sponsor your productions or do you guys come out of pocket? They sponsor some of our crew, but that's like members, but not the whole crew. Okay. They come out of pocket. Yeah. Okay. Have, uh, you know, a person or two do get um, sponsored. Dubs is one of the sponsored cats, right? I, I, I'm not sure. Yeah. I know Cessas. The first time I met Dubs, he was like 11 years old. He was getting busy. I met him in in, uh, in the Lower East Side mm-hmm. in a public library. The kid is nasty. Yeah, he's a product. Yeah, he's in our team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to I had the honor meeting him when he was first coming up. And he young and he yeah. He's nasty man. He's just like I said. I'm glad he's down one, you know, with us. Fuck <laughs> yeah, that. Um, our couple of Vandal, our staff was doing some research. Um, okay, so I guess we're not going into that one. Uh, TC5 and FC are heavily into the fashion game. Are you doing the clothing thing too? Um, I, I had started it one time, but it wasn't for me, man. Like, I, 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 that's a lot of time you got to put into it, man. I'm, you know, I'm, I got a full-time job, you know? Full-time being a pop. You know, a lot of other things, I, that, that's not an excuse. Of course that's not. That's my reason. But I understand. Me, but... That takes a lot of time, brother. You it know, does. Like you gotta let everything go. You gotta get busy with that, man. I tried it, and it, and it takes a lot, man. You know, I, I did do it at one time, but it wasn't no 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 shit. That wasn't a store, no famous just around the hood joints. But you know, I did my little thing. I got my little guap off it, but it takes time, bro. As far as TC Five and FC, do you know any brands that they're associated with in terms of clothing? Well, we had P and B. Okay. Before, uh, I don't know who has it now. Uh, this guy from uh, Wild and Out. Uh, uh, Nick, 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 I think he has enough. He bought PNB. I, 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 I'm, yeah, I remember that. I used to rock that back in I the nineties. I can't 90s. say, but I know he he has something to do with it. Yeah. But we had that. That was okay. a definitely FC uh, uh thing. Okay. Um, I think Supreme. We had okay. something with Supreme. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah Supreme's um, a big clo- uh, big clothing line now. Uh, I could uh, rock aware. We we rocked yeah. with them. Uh, okay. My man Dash, uh, Dante, you know they they work with them. And I think academics too. Yeah. But those are I don't know if they so, they really pop like that now. But yeah. you know. So all, I can name off the head. all those brands were bought by Mark Echo at one point. So yeah. you could say TC5 and FC helps help build yeah, that streetwear. Yeah, and then yeah. you know the, the thing is that all of our crews we all united. We all mm-hmm. regardless is it, different little chapters or little different uh, crews. Yeah. We all like in one together. We all have this family thing. Yeah. So wh- if you're down with TC5, you most likely down with FC. Or if you're down with IBM, you're gonna be down with FBA. You know, it's like gotcha. it's like that. So yeah. we all tight. That's dope, man. It's good. It's good to have unity. Yeah, we definitely have unit, man. We 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 were like Voltron. We put the whole five groups together. <laughs> and it's a wrap. We have oh, definitely definitely over three hundred members, man. Definitely at least right. off the head. Shit. How do you feel about today's current graph scene? It's art. I don't I don't see it like a graph, man. Because there's a lot of nice dudes out there, man. They doing some real crazy productions, man. Some like real realistic shit. Yeah. Shit looks beautiful. I, can't, I ain't gonna knock it. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful art. I myself don't see it as graph like back in the days, because we did the straight 2D joints, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They doing 3D joints. Um, characters they looking real realistic now. Definitely. Like I said, it's dope. I ain't gonna knock it, man. But we, you know, we wasn't about that. We just did a little b-boy character, you know what I'm saying? With big ass hands, big feet, looking all weird <laughs> with a kangle. They doing some, you know, realistic shit. Like, hey. but, I mean, the other shit too is like gentrification. Mm. I'm, I'm from Williamsburg, so a lot of the walls that we used to rock back back in the days now these white artists are rocking in, the, in Washington Heights is it similar um yeah I mean honestly I never really looked at, at, yeah. at, at um at, at race yeah if you nasty with it you nasty with it yeah. my nigga if you real nigga you real that's the way I see yeah. it so color I have to do nothing with it but yeah there is some white dudes that are if you look at them you're like this thing can peace <laughs> thing like a herb yeah 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 you know and the nigga gets nasty yeah you know i mean look we have a white dude that's a millionaire right now down with our crew you know yeah and, and um he doesn't look too much of nothing but mm-hmm. he's a cool you yeah. know he's a nice guy i'm pretty sure you guys have heard him calls yeah yeah calls. so you know mm-hmm. he, he's down that's with true. us yeah from the 90s and nace yeah I and remember he those don't, he's just like a regular dude and yeah get that do the spray can man this is trouble man get busy. you know because right now there's an ongoing war in Bushwick and Williamsburg between yeah. the old school writers and the new hipster writers. Oh, were? Yeah. I know about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> have, have you been um, doing galleries total? No, but I, I done, I done a, um, well, not my whole, like not a personal whole gallery myself, mm-hmm. but I had a few pieces in galleries that, um, I, you know, I was in there, you know, representing, you know, did my little joint, but it wasn't nothing too big. I'm, I'm working actually I am doing canvases now so you know okay that's you gotta have a whole lot of a whole bunch of canvases ready to go they tell you yo we ready to rock a, a gallery how many canvases do you have mm. she gotta have these you know, good 20 joints and better just man. ready ready to go and I have a couple I ain't gonna I ain't have no 20 right now <laughs> <laughs> we working on it it's working yeah, yeah. it's in the works I, I, I'll be a busy nigga man I'll be I'll be dead ass busy bro I, I do a lot of shit man now I, you said that you painted with scene, scene. You yeah. Know, for me coming up, scene is a legend. I've seen TC Five just to yeah. get this correct. Okay, this is not the. This is the black scene. The black scene. Okay, yeah. all right. Well, b- besides that, there's any writers that from past or present that you would paint that you would like to paint with that you haven't painted with? Is there anyone you would name? Uh, off the back, oh uh, shit, man. I hope the same. I, <laughs> nope. But off the head right now, no, nah, I'm stuck. I'm frozen right now. But there is a lot of writers that I I, I want to do walls with. Yeah. Even crew niggas that are down with me, I haven't done walls with them. Yeah. So you know, I just haven't got the time. But yeah, there's a lot of other dudes, man. Like even the TAT brothers. Mm-hmm. I would like to rock with them one time. You know. Yeah. Uh, uh, old school cats. Uh, uh Lava and, and you always. Yeah, you know, I met always. Lava at the Graffiti Hall. Yeah, that's my man. You know, I haven't done yeah. a war with him, but he's my yeah. man. You know, like yeah. yeah, I would love to do stuff with old, you know older older cats. Matter of fact. Yeah. And they got an art show coming up on Thursday in uh, the One A Exhibit Gallery. It's on One Forty Ninth. Okay, and in Malcolm Malcolm X Boulevard. Malcolm X Boulevard. Yeah, yeah that's, that's um James Top. Yeah, James Top. James okay. Top is there. L- uh, Lava will be there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Joey TDS. So you know, anybody want to check it out, come through to you. I'll be there. I'm gonna be filming and doing the edit, the video for him and everything. Okay, all right. Yeah. If you had any advice for anybody that wants to come up now uh, as a writer and is trying to do what you've pretty much done in the game what advice would you give him oh man it would be the same advice any other brother would give him man just keep going don't quit don't let nobody tell you shit and if you think the next man is better than you 
you're wrong because you, you are your own worst critic. So whatever you rock, the next man might think that shit is whack, or you might even think it's whack, but there's going to be that one person going to be like, yo, that shit is the shit that I mm-hmm. want. You, you the man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And though the next thing is something, oh, that shit is, nah, my brother, just keep on. Believe in yourself, man. Just get busy, man. Don't stop. Regardless of whatsoever, man, don't stop. You know? Now, you, you said you retired for a little bit. Yeah. Like for 14 years. What was the factor that made you want to come back? Well, my son was already a, a little teenager. He was growing up already. I said I did my daddy part as far as yeah. a little as, you know, but I came back because that's that just my blood. You feel blood. me? Yeah. I and I still was doodling here and there, you know, mm-hmm. but not getting busy. Like I'm doing a lot of murals, doing a lot of shit. And one day I said, you know what, man, I got to get back into my game. Niggas is doing walls. My, my, bro, my own crew said, yo, come through, you know, get down with the walls. Yo, chill, you know, whatever. Once yeah. I got on, I said, it was right. We were doing walls every other week. Nice, so, nice. Um, do you have uh, any any shout outs, any last words you want to get out to anybody watching or that will be watching this episode later on? Just some shout outs, man, I guess, you know. Um, do it. I want to shout out my first crew, FW. I was down with, F- uh, that's my boy Kess, my man Bogey, Bello, my whole TC fam crew, uh, FC, IBM, NTA, um, X-Men, my man Poke, Free Poke, uh, Doe, Steam, Doc, Juice, Avon, West, Same, Zier. View the whole Miami chapter. Uh, the Heights, all my brothers, you know, from Washington Heights. Uh, rest in peace to my brother, AD. Uh, Latch, Smurf, Fat Mark, Fur, TC5. All my brothers on lockdown from the Heights. Uh, Dante. Oh, happy happy born day to my brother, Dante. Happy born day. Uh, yeah. Happy born day. happy born day to my brother. Uh, serve, Mr. Wiggles, Luz, Dash, Cy, Neil, Doves, Ken, Swift, Keo, man. I don't know. It's a whole bunch of us, brother. Definitely. Hey, shout out to all my crew members, brother. And, and we want to give you a big shout out for showing love and supporting us here with the band. I mean, I appreciate that. My we, we appreciate, appreciate it. We appreciate it yeah. here. Um, we, once again, we just want to say thank you for coming through the Vandalawa and, and just sharing a little bit of that history that we feel is very important to get out. Um, more than welcome to come back thank anytime. You, thank you. So I appreciate you know. that one more time. You know, thank you for having me here. You know, it's an honor to be here. I hope you know we keep rocking on another time. Bro. Oh, it's going to happen. Right. We're going to go to a quick music break. We'll be right back with our next guest. CTC Management is in the building, so don't go nowhere. Stay tuned. It's the Vandal Hour. I be done. Pulled a rocket launcher out with a sword and chopped your damn head off. Long. Straight Weapon cheese. Breezy. Just. I say it again, I done said it before Move out the way when we coming through the door Me, greasy, no doubt I get raw Cats come at me with bullshit like I'm a matador The second after you ask what I'm laughing at your floor Just tap your jaw just to make sure your ass don't ask no more We out to lunch, that's for sure You won't know if it was a UFO or my flow that you saw Cause I'm unidentified and like I said I'll tap your jaw You'll be fine like love on a two-way street by Stacey Lattisaw Broke the fuck up, I roll a Dutch up and blaze broccoli Break your face over ice, we play hockey Yeah, I'm slender, but like Dr. Mondrian You can tell my brain cells quite stocky like Rocky The grimiest, grittiest, Brooklyn, New York city is Grin like Grizz, greasy, I mean the grizzliest Back on my bullshit, niggas know I do this Fuck you and the horse that you rode on, bitch NYC, got a brother from the Bill Nugger Ain't no other nugger, shine brighter than me, nugger Up high, give him five to his face Stop the shit, truck him on his back, hands to his face I'm the type of nigga that don't play no games with no kids or no bitch Not even no bitch, niggas they ain't shit Jack Nicholson, I'm shining, I'm grinding, I'm diamonds You a fraudulent nigga, stop lying, but I'm gon' get ya Flip ya, then rip ya Flying in the air, wolf things that will split ya J.U. double X diamonds, you know why I'm next Drop bombs with that still like funk, mess flex X, that monster spot, test me, get dropped Fuck around, get blocked, bam I ain't never been a pussy. I ain't never ran, nigga. I ain't never been a pussy. I ain't never ran, nigga. Bitch, I pull my own trick. 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 Uh, I ain't never been a pussy Bitch, I pull my own trigger My 50-50 niggas riding with me Bitch, I got my own niggas I ain't never been a bitch ass Mo, we let it fly, nigga 
this The same niggas gassing your bitch ass Hope them niggas willing to die with you uh, Lost a hundred sack first, got the dough right back though Yeah, I got towns on smash, I ain't studying this rap though Nah, I got the pound on my hip, nigga talking, I react go. That's what happen when it's done, motherfuckers gonna clap first Boss Send the shooters at your door with a pick of your relatives. Soft. When them guns come out, them niggas run and go tell a pig. Frost. Only so long fake niggas can last round real niggas. For sure. I'm a BK nigga, I never ran, never will. Go, go, go. I ain't never been a pussy. Nah. I ain't never ran, nigga. I ain't never been a pussy. I ain't never ran, nigga. Bitch, I pull my own trick. 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 Life for me is just weed and brew She the host block to you when your name is Q Am I overfaded? Hell yeah, it's true Turn the beat on any limit on what I can do See the top dog and heat, but I'ma fuck the world I'ma be on tilt until God referrals You sat me down, I'm still trying to get higher He looked at me stupid when I took the fire Meanwhile, my nigga drunk as fuck A nigga fucked up, we all fucked up Y'all done fucked up I brought more blood, go back to up You niggas know what's up Too damn high, I can't stand myself I love drunk driving, man, I'm something else Heat on my side You wanna welcome to milk, about to finish a pound You wanna welcome to help, hey. We the bros, we the bros. Life for me is just we the bros. We the bros, we the bros. Life for me is just we the bros. I fuck the once and I can fuck her twice. Then you heard me right, I might fuck tonight. I fuck the once and I can fuck her twice. Then you heard me right, I might fuck tonight. Show no lie, now trust me, now trust me I know these girls love me, nigga, trust me Now trust me, I know these niggas love me, now they trust me Now trust me, I started a friend and hold it like Now trust me I ain't never told no lie, now trust me, now trust me I know these girls love me, niggas trust me, now trust me I know these niggas plotting on me, trust me, now trust me I started off in the hole with nothing I'm grew up in the ghetto, nigga, trust me, now trust me Mama took me out the hood, I'm lucky, I'm lucky And now I'm rapping and I'm trapping, always magging, never lagging Money stacking, making actions, guessing, clapping Who can I trust? I don't know, are they real, friend or foe? Do she like me, wife or hoe? Let me know, I'll let you go And oh body, nigga, don't make me catch a homie, nigga You a snake, nigga, Versace, nigga I beat it up like Rocky, nigga What you niggas gotta say? Young fly Spanish nigga from BK Always walk around with at least 3K Got a gang of hood niggas looking like the 3Ks All Puerto Rican, they don't speak English 72 hours, so that's 3 days in the trap Cause the trap shit actually pays One of the realest niggas, so they actually fake 38 on my hip, no waistline All I think about is life, nice, tripping on Sprite Lil' Codeine, nigga, get though right Two blind dykes wanna kiss all night I just pray to God that the shit go right Little arguments and the fist don't fight Fuck a dog hoe when the bitch gon' bite ASAP, nigga, sip Chris all night Shut up all Kelly hoes getting pissed gon' swipe Damn high young nigga get so nice Young nigga cold like sitting on ice Fuck broke, tryna be rich all life I coulda been a criminal and just roll dice My nuts hangin' my top back Hoes screamin' that pop back Goin' west side, beans in the side ASAP, life got a pop tack Harlem world, my whole block strap Hoes over my jock strap My whip white, but my top black And my bitch white, but my cock black Purple drink, 
Got that. Tell these hoes all the twerk something. Bounce on me, bitch, hurt something. Tell it pop that pussy like twerk something. Yeah, shorty, she a stunner. My daddy, he a runner. Be that pretty motherfucker. You the call me what you want. Cause I'm in love with that ass. She in love with the cat. So she shaking it faster than making us stacks. And I'm taking it back. And I'm taking it back to the house. It's the bus and I'm off. And I'm kicking the out. Skillet Molina, she told me Martin said that everyone's a dreamer, reckless abandoned man. We cutting up like Caesars on top of nappy head. Can't fade our line is cleaner. Don't even know what my stats are, but just know by the set score. I make it moves like clockwork. Alexander Graham Bell, boy. With a flash shot on the pick, saw them ball on the wrist, only time go tell, boy. Keep it family tree like the Corleones. Y'all could hate, but all I needed was my homie soul. We dodging Tonto Sordio, call me Romeo. But on that la bandera blanca like Antonio. Don't need no beef from Grade A like the honor roll. You just concerned with getting paid, want them dollars so But all them thousand dollar chains getting kinda old. I start the eyes of throwing you, don't fall like Domino. But cold days, cold nights, man, I hate these cold nights. On my ground, I want my shine, I want it, this my whole life. Cold days, cold nights, man, I hate these cold nights. On my ground, I want my shine, these other dudes, man, I did it overnight. But just give me two less. Only two less. I take the time to make it worse and watch what you say, baby. Give me some beware. 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 I promise that this world gon' know my name, my name, my name, my name, my name. I promise that this world gon' know my name, my name, my name, my name, my name. I promise that this world gon' know my. How for to be this good at this young? How for when they say that you the next one? How for to be 16 and your own boss? I'm just trying to let a dream and not doze off. I've been sleeping in the vocal booth, doing school and the music. Work for a lot more, VP a block for under kid at a locked door. Me to you as I can see you the sophomore. See our TV, the new regime. Had me thinking that you knew the team. You don't know now, you're about to find out. The squad is toxic with the new Supreme. Make it fashion, take it action. Organize the chaos, create madness. Peace, what's going on, Vandals? You're tuned into the Vandal Hour Live on DTFRadio.com. Uh, if you was just tuned in, Totem was in the building with us. Before he exited, real quick, he wanted to drop something off for us here at the show. Uh, you can pass it right around. You can come right around. I appreciate that. We're definitely going to keep hold of this, and you will see it up on our uh, show. Thank you, man. You too, baby. Have a good night. Peace, man. What's going on, y'all? Uh, if you just noticed, the panel is a, we're a little packed here today. Uh, CTC Management is in the building with us. Also, Steph Love is in the building. We're going to have a basically music conversation. We're going to talk music, guys. So um, tell a friend and tell a friend. Let me just in. You guys, if you want, you can introduce yourselves real quick. What's good, man? Young Green, man. CTC Management CEO, baby. Yo, five CTC president in the building. It's your boy, Flip. CTC CEO, y'all know me, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you know Steph Lover. Hey, what's up, what's up? She also has the SL program here on uh, DTF Radio. Thursday nights, yes. There you go. So tune in, check that out. Saturday Night Live. There it goes. Um, for the people that don't know, real quick, uh, CTC, just give us a little background on, on that situation. Uh, who wants to start off? All right, let's go. What up, people? You know what I'm saying? A little background of us. Three brothers, you know what I'm saying? Come from Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Definitely. Decided to start this music thing, you know what I'm saying? We was rapping. We felt, you know, after a certain age in this game, you know what I'm saying? That's it, you know what I'm saying? So we was like, let's just put our money and our energy into these young brothers that's trying to do something positive, you know what I'm saying? Because we've been in the streets doing what we do, trying to do something positive. We love the kids and we love the youth. We like to just take it, you know? We just sat down with there. Like, listen, we getting older, man. We got our kids. We got to just go forward and 
whoever trying to do what they got doing in the music, we there with them. You know what I'm saying? We just sat down. We just poly thought about it real good. Like that's it. Let's go, man. Stop playing. How, how did you guys get together as far as the CTC thing? Yeah, we family. We it's a bloodline. It's nothing. You know. You, 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 you know. know you, I know. You're from the hood, but for people that don't know us, you know what I'm saying? Like it's blood here. So it's like you know what I'm saying. Like let's just do this. You know what I'm saying? Because you know after a while you you get older, you get smarter, you get wiser. Like you know I can't keep doing what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? So plus, it's like that's just plus, we did everything else together. We done scrambling in the streets and done move work. We done did everything. <laughs> so I mean, we move work together. We done Bitch. break broads together. Like we did everything together. So like it makes more sense to put it to legal hustle. <laughs> legal hustle. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it pretty much formed. Like that's how we came together, man. Unity. So you guys, are you currently um, searching for artists, or are you working with artists? already that you have we always searching for artists i mean any anything we see high in the streets we're going to snatch up but we, we always there searching for good artists um is there an artist with you guys now yeah that boy lamborghini law represent miami you know what i'm saying he's out of the pork and bean projects the first 48 y'all see that all the time of course of course 15 block shout out to everybody in miami the 15 block you know what i'm saying rick ross Rick Ross, yeah, the whole French Montana, the whole Coke boys, they know who we are, you know what I'm saying? They get love with us out there. It's, it's, we, we got a nice interview for y'all today, brother. Trust me. Well, you know, like I said, I, I, I have a little history with the guys up here at CTC. We from the same hood. They done see me grow up, and I see that a lot of people, not only where we at, I've heard, I've heard the name. Um, I've, I'm familiar with Lamborghini Law and his music and all the stuff you've been doing with him. Any any shows or anything you guys recently or have coming up that you're going to be doing? Basically, right now, we just finishing up his album and whatnot. And then from there, we setting up the um, I-95 connection tour and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? That's like basically Lamborghini Law and Friends with Mac 11. Okay. With the homie um, Gutter Gills out of North Carolina. He's heavy out there in North Carolina. The streets and whatnot and stuff. And then... You know, from right, we just basically focus on those people right there and our artists not getting law. And but, we just did lit though. We just um, yeah. shut down Club Lit not too long ago. Yeah. Rich Dollars and um, you know, Johnny Blaze all in the building. So I mean it was much love. Shut that down real quick. It was, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. You know, <laughs> yeah, a, lot yeah, of, yeah, yeah. a lot of strippers, a lot of booty bouncing around. It was very fun. Like I can't even lie. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. a lot of entertainment going on. Shout out to Rock Nation. It was, it was in the building Absolutely. too, showing love to us and whatnot and stuff. You know what I'm saying? We, as a matter of fact, we got a situation with Rich Dollars too, you know what I'm saying? But we ain't gonna talk about it until it gets signed off. But you know what I'm saying? He's he's been following and it's yeah, it's amazing. Whole. It's amazing like how you're doing stuff, you just grinding. And you're like you're trying to get there, but people that's really, really watching, you know what I'm saying? They may not follow you back, but they watch mm -hmm. when they see you. It he happens. Pulls, he pulls to the side. Listen, come here. Nigga said, get in get in my truck. Got in the bench truck. Like, like, you know, like if I knew him for days, we holler. Listen, no. Coles, take his information. I'm like, yeah, whatever, whatever. Yeah, you know, you know, you know how people say take the information. Next day he was on my line. I'm like, okay. Then from there we've been working, you know what I'm saying? But it's it's an amazing feeling. We 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 just trying to move, trying to do something right, you know what I'm saying? Like, we right there, we gonna just keep hustling. That's that's in that's our bloodline loud. regardless besides music and everything it's always been our bloodline we got to put bread on the table for our family so we're gonna do it the best way we could so with this music we're gonna treat it the same way and we're gonna keep putting bread on this table you know what i'm saying until we get there and whatnot and we all always gonna still be the same person and still be the same way as it should that's be that's just it we grinding man rock bottom nobody <laughs> giving handouts nobody doing nothing we don't want handouts we grinding from the bottom we don't want handouts man that's what we doing this shit on our own man. yeah never hey, asked for nothing there, we are out there on our own grinding hard man Pause. Exactly. Of course, no. Um, <laughs> Pause. Yeah. So if you don't know, that is the funny one. <laughs> this he's like this all the time. You man. No true story. <laughs> this this is him. E man, we we took jump shots together. B. Yo, I remember. I mean, I Yo, listen. I was growing up in the hood. These dudes used to scare me and tell me they was gonna kidnap me for money until my parents gave him some bread. So I had to deal with them on my come up, but it was always love. Wicked, though. Of course. Your, your jump of course. Out to be That's great. crazy. Fucking I, awesome. You got a Larry Bird, Jimmy. <laughs> Puerto Rican with a Larry Bird shot. That, yeah, I, had, I, I retired for that game early. <laughs> this is my new love now. Um, we do. Oh, Steph Love is in, in the building with us. Um, I just wanted to get a question with you. Being that I know you see a lot of people coming up in the music game, what would be one good line of advice that you would give them if they were coming up? Um, uh, 
basically you know a lot of people get into this for the wrong reasons you know mm. you got to be into it for the right reasons and you know mostly is is love you know if you don't love what you're doing and you strictly in it for the monetary part of it then you know that usually doesn't work out <laughs> from my experience but when you know you'll do something even if it's not you know the music business thank you if it's not the music business whether it's you know designing clothes skateboarding mm. whatever you might be doing usually when you do it and you're passionate about it same thing as love you know all the 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 glory comes you know you lead you a lot closer towards the yeah, success side that, of it you know if you do something um for free pretty much somebody will pay you to do that same very thing like you know what i'm saying definitely like if you definitely. do something for free and you're really good at it eventually somebody's gonna take notice and pay you for that you know and that's pretty much She's like, she ain't lying. The whole Staff, you're awesome though. <laughs> I've been no, following. No, no, no. I've been following awesome. for a while back in the day. <laughs> yeah. awesome. She's cool. Yeah. That's the whole you know idea even behind hip hop. Like they yeah. was doing it for free in the mm -hmm. park, and then eventually mm -hmm. niggas started getting paid Thanks to do it. That. Now exactly. it's a billion dollar business. Now they're trying to figure out ways to control it, but you can't mm -hmm. because it's from the streets. You can't. Preach. You know, you can, it's like. You, that's why I think the the drug game and the you know the hip hop game parallels so well, because a lot of people could jump in and out and walk that fine line because there's so much alike. You know, very <laughs> a true. A lot of the very principles true. are the same. You know, except when you you know you teeter on that you know violent set where you have to like you know kind of straighten somebody out mm -hmm. and, and it happens business. and it happens only part in the music business once in a while you do have to turn a blind eye like you can't yeah. slap everybody like you know what i'm saying very true that's yeah, the only she, part that sucks yeah. there's a couple of times like you know it's three of y'all so it's gonna have to no, be a you, voting you, process you two lying. against one do we slap them yes, yes. no no so plenty, no we can't plenty of times we you have, must know them yeah plenty you of, must, plenty of times it has to be like to that, it, and it's very yeah. true. It has to be like that. I mean, you know, you and just, it's, that's the only difference in the, you know, in the streets and the music businesses. Yeah, yeah, you gotta I mean, be careful. Yeah, yeah. but not even that. Times. They'll make it. They'll make it harder for you. Yeah, like, you get blackballed. They're, they're, and they're, they're put in the corner. Yeah, is that a fear for you guys that like coming up nah. just success wise like you can think about that like nah, nah, like, like a, a few times like we done came across like what Steph was saying many but many we just, many a times yeah we just you know a few times like it's it a case be, by case I'm, 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 I'm not gonna yeah. put put point the finger at nobody but of course a few times like we like wait wait what five went <laughs> he done jumped back in a, in a ride we had half of the day whatever state we was in he went back to the hotel to control himself so I'm like all right that's better than catching a charge Absolutely. or just going to jail See? or a lawsuit and whatnot. That's gross. And it was a few times, like, I tried to be the cool one out of the group. Everybody know that. I done almost lost it. Like, what, what are you doing? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just like, you know what? Let me go get a coffee. As long as, they got, as long as they got <laughs> cause light, I'm good. No charges. <laughs> no charges needed. Yeah. None of the dumb shit. Especially out of town. Yeah, but at the end of the day, this is at, at the end of the day. I can't go nowhere. Yeah, though. I ain't trying to catch no charge out of town. But at the end of the day, it's, it's a business, so it's like, you know what? You're going to go through your bullshit. It's like, you know what? Fuck it. That happens. I'm going to treat it respectful when I, you know what I'm saying? Because you can't bring, you could be from the street, but don't bring the street to you what you're doing to a certain state. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's a business, you know what I'm saying? And and I, it's just like having a regular job. You work at some work at somewhere, you can't talk to oh, I know. that hood stuff or you're going to be gone. I know. Yeah, Even though you're hood, but you I need know. that money to, to pay your bills. Yeah, that's how it goes. And I guess more what Steph had said earlier about sometimes turning the eye, sometimes. Yeah. It's it's for the best of the future yeah. of what you guys are trying to do. So it's good that you're not one of those guys that's out there that's like, oh, fuck the world, everybody get it. Yeah. It's going to have a short road. Yeah. It's, a, it's about leverage, you know. I mean, you could do it now and then get, you know, like you said, black ball. You could do it later and it costs you. Read TMZ. Chris Brown just settled a lawsuit. Mm -hmm. Bieber just settled a lawsuit. Game just settled a lawsuit. It's like you're giving money away. Like they, you yeah. know, so you have to be able to control yourself because people will provoke you. You know, yeah, you get in situations where they do that. you know your shit becomes so public. Social media makes everything so public. It'll be, mm. you know, something real hurtful. Like maybe somebody passed away or or you know your your wife or your girl something happened with the baby. Real personal shit. And somebody will bring that up. But they don't see that part. They'll just see the part of you snapping. Uh huh. You know. And so they want to see actually. Yeah. Like they are hoping you do something out the box and. Yeah, but. Uh, you gotta be very careful. You gotta know how to you know control yourself and control what you project out. You know, if y'all are, 
you know, represent the artist, you wouldn't, you don't want to be getting yeah. locked up. Like, you yeah, know, you're supposed to be bailing the artist out. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right. Very true. You, brother. Yeah. You can't manage you from yeah. Central Booking. That's, right. <laughs> that's not worst. a good example. <laughs> you don't collect calls. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, we ain't doing that. How do you guys feel about the current state of hip hop right now? We about to sign a retard and get millions. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna sign a retard, that's, that's a yeah. new kid, and we're gonna get millions. He's gonna be ugly. More uglier than A Town and the rest of the I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> 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 hey man, that's a quick come up though. Like, don't get it twisted. That's a quick come up. You know what's funny <laughs> about that? That social media has become a big gate for people to. Do you guys take advantage of social media as far as with your artists and stuff? Do you use it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Use it to the max. It's a, it's a, it's a great. I think social media is great. It's awesome. Cause you could put out so much music and so many videos that everybody is going to like tune into, man. Like SoundCloud, you got YouTube, you got Instagram, you got Facebook. People are watching, no matter what. You could put the main things out all over the place. They watching. So it's like if you punch in Lamborghini Law on YouTube, you're gonna see him. And he's dope too. He got bars. Like, <laughs> he's bringing that shit back. Like if you don't want bars, you got bars. I'm dead serious. Like tune in, he got bars. I, I swear to God, man. Real, the real hip hop, none of that lollipop shit, none of that watered down shit, none of that bullshit. Shout out to Jadakiss, he he be checking in with him one night. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's been dude. releasing some, yeah, yeah, some stuff like every weekend. He got this thing got, going it's on. Been, it's been it's been like almost sixty weeks. Yeah, got we, we got we got we got this freestyle thing that we done all yeah, came up with when on freestyle Friday. You know, it was only fifteen seconds on Instagram, but like you know, Tune in, you check it out. But bars, if you man. if you go like on his Facebook and elsewhere. The boy, he spit, you know what I'm saying? It's been like almost, it's about 55, 6, I'm not sure. Yeah, Close to 60 almost weeks. 60 weeks, 60 road, weeks you know what I'm saying? Just on that West name. But now he got the concept now. He was spitting acapella. Now he's spitting just as, um, matter of fact, yesterday with the beat to it and whatnot and stuff. And he done rhyme, uh, rhyme over that JD Kids joint. And JD Kids been checking him. And, you know, it's been DMs. That's good. That's good. You, that's good. you got to Gene rap back, man. Let me ask you a question. When you guys are looking for artists, this is different. Most of the time, if we have any music guests here, it's usually the artists. So if there's any artist that's watching, how do you choose or what do you look for in somebody that you're trying to work with? First of all, you got to just have the love, like Steph said, the love for what you're doing and whatnot. And, you know, you know, you got to just, you know, because nowadays it's a gimmick. But if you we we want that that lyrical thing. You know what I'm saying? They we we management a lot of management companies and people they just sign you. Oh, I get you a deal. They make a dollar off you. Nah, we with you. We got you. It's like a family thing, and it's ours. It's the artist development thing. We with you. We riding out everywhere. You know what I'm saying? We are gonna make sure you're right or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be. You gotta be confident. You gotta be sure. You gotta be this. You gotta be that. You know what I'm saying? Uh uh uh. -uh. And that's just it. You know what I'm saying? We don't want nobody to just have just a look. And uh uh uh. uh you know what I'm saying? Like no. What is that? Mm. I'm, I'm gonna get you a 360 deal. You happy with it? You know what I'm saying? I want I want you to be comfortable with what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? I want you to sign anything, and then you just that's just it. You know what I'm saying? Is this yeah, what you want to do? Strong. That's what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, as a business, we can just get you any anyway. You know what I'm saying? But let's just build a relationship at this. You know what I'm saying? Because oh, I'm tired of this, y'all. I want to go to something different. All right, we man, we find something different for you to do or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's just business, but at the end of the day, it's love. You know what I'm saying? Some people look at you as just you know these people in the industry look at you as I. Like, yeah, I could get money off him. He's stupid. And they look at artists like Pimpin'. that. Like, he's stupid. Like you know, they, they want to be, you know. It, no. Uh, you, uh, we tell artists, a few times we've been in situations that some of the people we deal with, you sure you want to do that? Why you say I'm sure? I'm, as your manager, you sure? Oh, yeah, but it's, all right. Are oh, you sure? Okay. Now, hmm. whatever happens is on you. That's just it, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get right back. I, I like this conversation. We're going to get back into that. Hold, give me one sec. We're going to go do a short music break uh, with DJ Clef. We'll be right back. It's the Vandal I want. DTFradio.com. Uh, we got them glasses, Eli, we man 
nah, nah. Back. I just wanna be free, motherfucker. Get money, get dough, get cream, motherfucker. When you hear block up, block up, 15, motherfucker. We be standing in the paint with them things, motherfucker. A lot of niggas came and left, bitch. I came to attack you, hold your chest, you hold your neck. Get your brain air out like you're holding your breath. Now I block that trees like the Kiba, like the Hoover, and I did it myself. I'm really getting to the money. I'm trying to stack that paper up for every bitch that front on me. All you niggas sharing stones, and I ain't talking about the actress. Loud pack lamb, leave your corner flabbergasted. Hand on the wheel as I'm swerving through the traffic. Trying to find my way to the top, banana split aspirin. Muhammad Ali shit, find me where the cash is. Running up in your damn shitting on you bastards. Free game mafia, who hotter than us? And if you fuck with the squad, put your one five bucks. We trust 20 to 10 in the dust. We got them glocks on Eli. We manning up. I say, free game mafia. Who hotter than us? And if you squash with the squad, put the one five up. And free, we trust 20 to 10 in the dust. We got them glocks on Eli. We manning up. Free, leave all the hate in the past. I got them beats sleeping in the fucking product bag. I see them boys thinking, and yeah, they probably mad. I clap them up and talk on the gas. I put the one down. Put the five down. To the top and I don't kill, get hit Tell these weak motherfuckers Lamborghini in this bitch And the Glock is on my hip Like a tourist with a fanny pack Big double R, I don't know where the park it at Free game, one five, bitch, I play the quarterback All my niggas make plays, yeah, we bring the metal back And if a nigga act tough, yeah, we bring that metal back Fuck around and get clapped up like a jumping jack Boy, I go Swiss for that pepper jack Catch you out in Arizona, never get your dinosaur back I'll look back And I don't think there's a nigga hotter than I Step up in your girl like the exercise No dumbbells, just V12s with dual exhaust pipe Man, I'm shitting on you niggas, man I can't forget the whites, man I'm stunting on you niggas, man I can't forget the ice My wrist looking like a crack bag For the weed price, I'm Just that hot And I'm seasoning the game And stirring the pot It's gonna be a cold summer You better stay indoors You ever seen a hundred G's on a marble floor? You ever seen a hundred G's on a countertop? Nigga, I think not It's gonna be a cold Summer motherfucker, brown bag money in a duffel motherfucker Pulling up looking like stunner motherfucker It's gonna be a cold. And you new rappers mixtape a weed We bust down the zip then 
throw it out the window Alley you to the trash, man, he Blake gripping it Lamborghini lost, spit coke, I got him stiffing it Every bar ill, therefore I'm illiterate A couple mil on my mind, I guess a nigga militant Running with them boys, that beat a couple sentences Essays and paragraphs, my car like an aircraft Weaving through traffic, earn hard in the street They'll tell you I'm the best when it comes to the beat They'll tell you I'm the best when it comes to the feet University 11, bitch, I killed South Beach That memorial week, tell them rest in peace And that 30 round clip, yeah, rest with free Man, you in too deep, like Omar Epps Lamborghini Keith Gittins, bitch, the guard is back It's gonna be a cold summer You gotta stay in Peace Vandals, you know what it is. We live on the Vandalow on DTFradio.com. Uh, CTC management is in the building. Steph Love is in the building. Crip Dog is in the building. And that last song you just uh, were listening to was by CTC artist Lamborghini Law. It's called Counting Money. The other songs that were played? Cold Summer. I don't know y'all. I yeah, got that. That's one of my favorites from Lamborghini. And um, what was the other one? Um, the other one was um, I don't know, y'all niggas count money. Y'all niggas count money and free game anthem. And the free, free game, game anthem. Yeah. anthem. Yeah, that's the next single off his album. Yes, sir. We gonna shoot that. Oh, well, no, we shooting that. So yeah, yeah, matter of fact, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in Winsburg, Miami. All about to say, uh, save me a seat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah you coming? Miami, you're gonna fuck with 15 black boys and all that. Some boys get it in, man. They get busy. 
You already know sticks in the grass and all that. <laughs> you already. Um, yo, can, can get I, get. Let me give a shout out to. Uh, he's 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 uh he's from Yemen. Diplomats or not stuff. From Yemen. He 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 on a, he on a check in all the way from Yemen. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, hit me up. Support. We appreciate it. We appreciate you know what it. I'm saying he's 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 affiliated when not stuff. He's been, he's been yeah he's been hollering at us when not stuff. I got photos right here when not stuff. You know what I'm saying? He do things with French. I'm That's what's up. Moving. That's it, what's up. It is basically they they, they want to see the homework and the homework is getting done. So we moving when not stuff. As it should be. Yeah. Of course. Uh, well, real quick, uh, to Steph, I just wanted to ask you, um. On your on your show that you do up here, is do you deal with big name artists or do you have independent artists as well come up? Both. Both. Mm -hmm. uh, and being that you've done mainstream and online radio, is there what is there a difference between? Is there a difference between it for you? No, not really. You can just curse on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite parts. A lot of people who come up to the show as the first thing they always ask, like out there, is like, can you, you know, curse? I'm like, you do whatever you want. Yeah, they do that on my I mean, show only too. here in the Van Lau, we don't really promote the drunk. We are, you know, partly graph oh, show. Shit, ass bitch. But you can you can speak your mind. You definitely can speak your mind on all our radio. It was probably one of my favorite parts. Now that's what's up. Um, individually, what what roles do you play in CTC? Does everybody have a specific job? Is it pretty much? Um, well, well yeah. <laughs> this guy is the president five, which um, you know, he goes over paperwork and all that stuff, the legal shit that he does financially. He does all that. Me and me and Flip pretty much handle the scouting reports. We we, we go over the scouting and handle and stay to stay have stay fun, stay, drinking, stay, yeah, have you know, a fun. The enjoyable club, part, you know, <laughs> trying to recruit and all that. Because you gotta be nice, what? you know. You gotta hear the music, you know. You gotta you gotta pay, you gotta hear everybody. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody has a message. You know what I'm saying? If if it's not about shooting drugs this and that, they may have a message different in hip hop. You know what I'm saying? How they spin. So you gotta look at everybody's view when I. You know what I'm saying? And if it's hip hop, we all like it. We agree to it. That's just it. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? That's just grind. We ain't go with it. You know what I'm saying? But at the end thing. of the day, just because we don't get a person, we're not gonna say we we all that. No, we coming up. Just because we may not get you, you know what I'm saying? That's not what we're not looking for at the moment. But we still respect what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Because it takes a lot for artists to go out there and just grind, just go in these places and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? But you know, me and Dave, <laughs> as you know, always young green, young of green course. government, <laughs> young yeah, young green. Filthy. That's filthy, but um, yeah, young green, you know, no we, John. we, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, me and John, <laughs> <laughs> me and yeah. John over yeah. here, uh, let's yeah. go, yeah, <laughs> we, we have no. fun with it, you know what I'm saying? That's just it, you know. You, you spoke about uh, artists being lyrical and stuff earlier. So on, on a serious note, what do you feel about the state of hip hop, where it's at right now? It's some people that still got hip hop. Some people are spitting those. Those raps, like, D -d 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 -d. how the fuck I bring a label that? <laughs> Lamb said it best, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, some people just doing whatever, like, you know, and then sometimes they listen to label, you know what I'm saying? If you like what you're doing, you're going to do what you do. You ain't going to listen to them, like, I'll just do it this way, do it. you know what I'm saying? You may have your little arguments, but listen, this is what I want to do right here when I, you know what I'm saying? Either you're going to be with me or you're not. You can't be saying? mad at hip hop right now. Look, look at it. But it's money. It's, it, it's evolving in a good way and in a bad way. Because if you look at it, like, look at Young Thug. What is he even saying? We we don't know what he's saying. We gotta Google his list. You know, and, but he's selling records. That sounds, that, right. that's, sounds that's, good in the club too. Yeah, he's you know what's cool? Around <laughs> kissing guys and it's like it's cool. So it, it's like all right, whatever. You know, what I'm <laughs> like, whatever. You know, it's, I guess like that's a good point because six, baby. they're they're making money. So so somebody's. Yeah, you can't knock the hustle. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. It's just it's just you you join a hustle, but you just keep doing what you're doing. You know what of saying? course. You you spit lyrical. But you, you know what I'm saying? You get that beat. If they, you know what I'm saying? I mean, but and if you could ride that beat, what's going on with this wave now, when I still be lyrical, you got it. You know what I'm saying? Hook, That's just it. Good beat and a hook. Huh? Would you guys even label these news rappers hip hop? Like, hip hop is a culture. <laughs> you know what I mean? Facts. Break dancing, graffiti. You just, you just they don't know yeah. about that. They don't they, know about they that. They don't know about the, that, that, that history yeah. of break dancing and graffiti, cardboard yeah. boxes, boom boxes. They don't, they don't know, about know about that. Like, yeah. Well, to them, they spitting yeah. bullshit. Like, to them, to them yeah. our hip hop, like, looking at hip hop talk. They look at us like, oh, that's not hip hop. Like, yeah. you know, you, you see some crazy shit. Like, mm -hmm. the, the young thug was saying something before about Jay Z. Jay Z is hip hop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But these dudes come in the game, they just feel, oh, I'm a rapper. I mean, I'm hip. You're not hip hop. You're an entertainer. You're yeah, doing too. stuff that people say, oh, that's cool for the moment. Yeah. They don't last long. Mm -hmm. They're not lyrically nice. 
you may make a quick dollar and that's just it. Then nobody knows about you or not. You know what I'm saying? It's you got you know, you got I don't know, man. It's, you know what it is? I think nowadays, especially with social media, people don't take um hip hop or, or beef as serious as they do. There's always that question in the back of your mind, like, is this for PR? Are they doing it? And a lot of that came up with the young thug and 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 the little Wayne and before yeah. you before it used to be having to go labels, put this stuff out, et cetera, et cetera. Like you know what I'm that. saying? Now it's the label look at you, they see you get a buzz, then they come to you, and then you happy. You taking whatever because you ain't used to it, and that's just it. Oh, I'm rich. You rich? You made some money off of singles. You doing shows? When are they taking from you? You're not knowing what's going on because you're young, you're stupid, you're getting high, yeah, you're, you're just getting happy girls. To get a deal. But I'm then quick to sign you're, you're good for the moment. Then, then, <laughs> then your buzz dies. That's it. You know what I'm saying? As as management, what what is your main focus when you have somebody that you feel has that shot? What would be the first move you make with them? What Denzel said? You want to go home or you want to go to jail? <laughs> I go hard. We go hard. So at the end of the day, when we go home, we're comfortable with what we're doing. And we wake up the next day, the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, like basically, the artist that's dope, like, and that's Lamborghini. Lamborghini Law. He's dope, so we just run with it. You know what I'm saying? We don't Honestly, we don't get sleep, man. Like, no sleep. Like, I say three hours. We get sleep. We, we right back up out of it. When I, we beat... Like you may see us here in New York right now. Lamb is in Miami doing what he doing with non stuff. After the video shoot, we doing tomorrow with another artist with non stuff. After the Mob Deep thing, we right back on the road with him. You know what, what I'm saying? What, what you got going with Mob Deep? Now we ain't got nothing. Oh, we gonna show. Sh we gonna show support. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That, yeah. That's the people's. Like yeah. we, we we mess with them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The noise is the homie. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Big noise, the homie, homie. Yeah, like yeah. on some like, he's been riding out supporting like before they we was doing before we was doing this when I like street. Like street wise, yeah. when I he likes what we doing, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people think, oh, what's Noy that? Lloyd, he chilling, man. Yeah. That nigga laid back in my here in Miami, he chilling. Oh, yeah, nah, I didn't know that either. Yeah, we got, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's just yeah. like we gotta come up, but we we done been in these streets dipping and dabbing, you know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, it's like, you know, let's just do what we do when I, you know what I'm saying? Because our dream was to spit, you know, we getting older, like nah, you know, after a while you you don't wanna be like Yeah. Basically. Are you working with anybody else right now besides Lamborghini? Lamborghini is the dude. Yeah, that's Ain't nothing wrong with that. No, really don't. That's Ain't nothing wrong with that. Focus, Lamborghini man. is the dude. Like, like you know, <laughs> shout out to everybody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but Lamborghini is the dude. That's that's just that's, that that's guy, just where man. you know he's besides artists, he's family. That's just it. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, because you know I've been like, knowing. It's more. Yeah, it's because you know I've been knowing. It's more. It's more than music with Lamborghini. Yeah. Like on some on some real G shit. It's more than music. Like that brother, he calls on something like not just about business. Yo, really? how your day doing? How your kids doing? How your mom's doing? All right, you're good. As long as y'all good, I'm good and whatnot and stuff. Yo, hit me up, man. You know what I'm saying? Like on some, it's more than music. When we get to music, it's music. He get hit, like, yeah, I'm gonna go to the studio. We do our prayers. We do what we do and whatnot. But he's and real. He you know what I'm saying? Business, man. And he handles business at the end of the day. Real nigga shit. At all, man. B. Studio flow, he's good. He's going to make his tracks. He, that nigga's a businessman. Yeah. He's about his, he about his work and his craft. He does his and work. And what people don't know about him is it, he's just not that dude from the street. He's a street dude, but he's just not that dude from the street that want to be a rapper. The, bo mm. the boy got a degree. Exactly. The boy played it's football. Like stupid. You know the boy played football. Stupid nigga. No, you go online, you see his interviews. The boy got interviewed on that TNT from like, oh, you ain't make it, so where you at now? The boy is smart. He's intelligent. Like... He got he got a story behind him, you know what I'm saying? To come from a hood that's catching by just about every other day in Miami, you know what I'm saying? Dade County. But you done made it out, went to college. I, I ain't make it to the pros, but I got my degree. But I'm spitting now. My other love that I had, but I think I can make it in football college, but I ain't make it. But this is my other love right here, my first love. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to keep doing what I got to do to take care of my family and his son. The boy is smart, you know what I'm saying, overall, you know what I'm saying? But he a G at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? People think you got to be just a G or oh, shoot you and kill. No. College, you you got to be that, smart. Like, you got to be smart about everything. When I, like, the boy, he's on some, besides music, yo, I love y'all. It's good. Da -da -da -da. You know what I'm saying? The love is mutual with him. When I, you know what I'm saying? Other artists, it's just about business, which we imagine it should be about business, but it's just more different and taking it towards him. You know what I'm saying? Rap. <laughs> and every time we go out there, we go on those 15 black boys. Yes, sir. Miami Beach and all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, free. Free game off here, man. Game I see you guys moving and doing a lot of things within the next two years where where do you want to see a CTC moving towards are you guys gonna stay like 
an independent management? Like, you know, if the offer comes in the future, are you up to that? Yeah, if it come, we up to it or whatnot. But we, uh, listen, if it come, we up to it. But as long as we can still move the same way we move in or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? We ain't trying to change. Exactly. Like we want to be street dudes and get corporate money. <laughs> <laughs> like street the other dude, 40 million dude. people yeah, in New York street City, dude, man. Corporate money. I, I, we can adapt and you know, blend in and be chameleons. How do you deal I, with artist loyalty? That's <laughs> difficult. Uh, that's. <laughs> it's very difficult. That is very difficult. And um, right now we have a loyal artist. That's another show, though. But that's Definitely. Show. We can go on for, for hours and hours about the um, loyalty and stuff. That's but why Latin <laughs> Guinea is Lassie that dude. Latin law is, is loyal. We don't have to worry about anything. He checks with he checks in with his management first, and that's what you're supposed to do. She you gets shit gets shot at him. Yeah. He's, he's like, yo, listen to this. Look at this. This dude just came at me. You know, shit. A lot of dudes don't do that. Let's be on some. Okay, they they start negotiating other stuff or whatnot. But hey, listen to this dude there. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I handle that. Yeah. That's just it. And we respect that. I ask because just coming up, because I know where you guys from. I know where Zach, I'm from the same place. And in, in the future, you know, sometimes you end up getting big, and you have that concern. I'm pretty sure, even though you speak highly of Lamborghini, and I'm not saying him, but it's always that thought of, damn what if especially when you're doing things on a come up when it's basically i'm pretty sure you got your contracts and stuff situated but sometimes people want to come up doing a lot of shit off the handshake off the love hoping that it works out and then somebody ends up expanding or getting bigger and that's to forget about a nigga, right? that's when it goes down that's yeah. why i asked that question but at the end of the day you got the ctc kids uh children you know what i'm saying that it's on a come up of course. That's, that's for the youth, you know what I'm saying? We all got sons. That's that age, you know what I'm saying? You know, niggas, you know <laughs> we we used to spit, but you know, they got they got pin game too. And if they need their pops to help and their uncles, we there, you know what I'm saying? So that's another story, you know what I'm saying? They coming up too, you know what I'm saying? But right now we focus on Lamborghini. It doesn't mean yeah, he's the only the you know what I'm saying? That's just it. We do have Williamsburg Day coming up. Absolutely. He will be there. Yeah, it will sure. be some performance. Are you guys doing something for Williamsburg yeah, Day? Of course. We're gonna get a fucking track the trail truck and put that shit in the hood <laughs> and do that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, like serious, serious. Tipping them dead. Remember that? Of you know, course. you know, back in the day, like how Scotty and them did, yeah. Scotty and them did in the projects yeah. and whatnot. And model, but now we got, we got. Now, honestly, we, we working on some joint. We working on some joints and whatnot. We haven't we, had nothing like that in nah, Westbrook for a long time. Honestly, no, honestly, we, we hollered that um Drew from Houdini, Grandmaster D, and whatnot. You know, of course, he, he been on checking. He been dealing with us when I, you know, he out there in Atlanta, and Miami, doing what he doing and whatnot. We done working. We got something like he, I ain't do this in a while. I remember, y'all was kids, so we building on. You know, we just working, man. Just like let everybody know, as long as the community that's still behind us. No, when I, we got y'all when I stuff, you know how Houdini used to be. Of course. I remember them as kids, they used to be in the crib. He used to be Bobby Brown, everybody to my crib. My crib was the, the hangout. Let's get drunk. All those, all those dudes, is a true story. Let's go to block one. Let's go to their crib. Let's, you know, there's everything. You could do everything in there when I, stuff, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? I, I was going to get into that earlier. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't know if you guys wanted to get that. <laughs> you could get in there, you know what I'm saying? Locational. Like, for people that don't know the history, like they just think yeah. we came up. But well, so if you don't know, Winsburg, Winsburg has four blocks uh, for the people who don't know. Um, I'm originally from the three. Me too. So is uh, Young Green. Yeah, so yeah. is Mathematics. So is five. 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 Yeah. But these guys currently reside or hang or the group, yeah. the family, is on what we call Block One. Now, if you <laughs> ever been to Williamsburg, Block One is its own project. <laughs> yeah. If you can say that. Williamsburg has four blocks. We have small projects. You know what I mean? Sometimes people don't really recognize with us. But if you go to block one, yeah. you will see the difference between block <laughs> one and the rest of the Williamsburg that's area. That's facts, man. That's facts. So, that's the dark side, man. That's I don't know if you guys wanted to get shout into Shout out to everybody in Williamsburg. Matter of fact, yeah, shout, word, shout out to Nut, four, BG, man. and them whatnot. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Sell block one dudes. Sell block three. Four, all five, two, half a block, ass two, but it's all good. It's <laughs> cool. And all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We're going to have a block there. On the two, you know what I'm saying? But I, I'm looking forward to the uh, Winsburg Day thing, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's an amazing. We need that, man. We have something amazing. like that in a long Matter fact, time. I might get my, my Yacht Club boys. Who shout out to the Yacht Club boys in Jersey. That shout out. Dudes. Yeah. I might get them to come out, too. Because they, they, this dude brought it to my idea, Brooke Acosta. Shout out to Brooke Acosta from Jersey. He brought it to my attention to do that type of shit. Like, yo, someone's your hood day, whatever. Uh, we can come out and do this shit. You know, Lamborghini Law, Freaking Mafia, CTC, all that. So we just trying to like bring all flavors, like from old to new. 
like with the Houdinis, them. Well, like the era, like basically a little bit after that. A little that, mixed, a mix like, of like both. We, like we trying to get Ray Ray Boogie, you know, Ray Boogie to come out, you know what I'm saying, for all the Latinos, yeah, we, yeah, Puerto Rico. Too. Now we get we going to get Ray Boogie, you know what I'm saying, for Puerto Rico and Boricuas on the set, you know what I'm saying? Of course. They had the anthem for the, for the Boricuas. I will definitely stuff. talk to you, you guys about get, that. Yeah, a, yeah, 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 of course, A1. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, A1 yeah. from the hood. Shout to A1. Shout to definitely. A1. We going to get A1 come out too. Yeah, you um, know, the A1's the homie. Yeah, well, act like it. And, and, and matter of fact, like, uh, basically, like, if, 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 if Fetty Wap, his situation ain't busy that day, we going to get him because he's the people too, you know what I'm saying? Because we got productions. We got productions from Nit the Grit. On the project, they they peoples, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. People think he's from the south, but he's from Jersey. Yeah, yeah. the homie, the homie, a real dude. Yeah, production. the homie, a real dude. Oh, yeah, we, album. yeah, we fucks with them or whatnot. Yeah, so we're gonna see what it is. Produce a track on Lambo's <laughs> album. Look, it's dope. It's heroin. Oh yeah, heroin um, flow. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. Is there anything that you want to get out? Any names? Any shout outs? Oh. Just shout out CTC. Shout out GM Free Game Mafia. Yeah, let me get. That's let me what get. we doing, man. Let me give a shout out to the people on the project yeah, too. I want to yeah. shout out my dude Sonic. He is dope. He is yeah, dope. I was about to get that. <laughs> yeah, shit. he from the UK. Shout out to yeah. Sonic. Shout out to Sonic. Shout out to New um New York BTF Bangers. F Radio. Who else? Uh, Step level. We see you. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> my, my nigga G Man yeah. from day one. Shout, yeah, shout out. Shout out to Big Day Luke, man. Ones. Shout out to Mad House Days, baby. You're shout right. out to Magic Mike. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Canada. You know what I'm saying? He's been spinning us out there. Heavy rotation. He he got like a set that he's trying to do for us to come out there or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? It just, it just it's a lot of people to think it keep going on. Shout out to North Carolina. Shout out to those Grammy gang boys. Shout out to Mac 11, the whole BK Entertainment. Yes, sir. Mac 11, we see you, baby. Shout out to JR Printers. Shout out T Nice, too, man. Exactly. I see that. Yeah, I'm getting all these things. Shout out to the NC. Shout out to Hollywood Two Face from Miami. Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to um those Maybach dudes, the 305 Hound. Shout out to 305 Hound. Real quick, we want to give also a big thank you uh to Steph Lover. For coming through and showing no some love here no at the no Vandalawa. Her no show comes on Thursday night, 9 to 11, the SL program. You can check that out. You also follow them on Instagram, which is at SL program. Yeah. Okay? So, and shout out to all our listeners and everybody out there who holds us down, who views us on YouTube, who tune in live, who show, lo uh, show love on our social media. No. A big shout out. Of course, and a big shout out to the big homie Mark DTF for giving us this opportunity and holding us down here at DTF Radio. Um, big shout out to June four five seven. You already know about facts, free facts on wax. Uh, DJ Clef, our DJ on set every Saturday. G Stevens, and of course Mathematics. Uh, make yeah. sure you tune in next week. Our uh, guest will be Heck, Heck Todd, SFA, YKK, and Uncut. Also, we have a special music segment uh, being brought to you by uh, Sunez Ala, who is also a past guest here on DTF Radio um, on the Vandal Hour. I'm Issa Nacho. I want to thank Crip Dog for coming through and filling in for Facts on Wax. Yes, Steph sir. Lover, CTC, we appreciate the love. It's Saturday night. We got some, we got some buttons for y'all, too. Oh, let me get those. We got those. some can openers, some magnets. I take those. Kids. I love the gifts. We got everything for y'all. Yo, listen, man. It's the Vandal Hour. We go live Free every time. Saturday night. <laughs> uh, 11 to 1 you know what it is stay tuned you're ready free facts hold your head baby you trying to be the hottest on your block though run down know me you get shot though I gotta be the hottest out the rock though tell them free my shmurders out the box though ah! one phone call I make it happen young boys think it may be tough when they flag it long story short they left them dead when they was clapping they saying what's poppin' in the hood where it's crack it ain't no fit. You can get everybody you around here. Get that boy a hair shot. Laid out on the ground stick. You gon' be the first nigga running when that pound spit. I ain't with the fake shit, so stop with all the smell shit. Talking all this jail how, how you held it down shit. You was getting stomped in the yard, Chris Brown shit. I was out looking for that money till I found it. You ain't never sell a drug. You were just around it. That shit made me aggravated. Them lines made me agitated. Head shot lift his hat in the air like he graduated. Shot he jerked his body back and forth like he masturbated. I don't listen to none of they rap. Cause they fabricated I'm whipping the kilo That don't be brown like it's Nino Then I'm up in the kitchen I'm on my grizzly like Zebo Hold they watch me like Vivo Tryna find me like Nemo When I let that machine ring It ain't the sound at casinos They know a real nigga When them hoes see a real nigga Oh yeah, my young boys here to kill niggas Ain't on some real shit, I don't fail niggas Oh yeah, for real nigga I swear to God, man, I used to speak the thuggy ain't weak To the 
the police, put him on the sheets. They just let my nigga black back on the streets. He was running through the field with no cleats. Couple shots made a pussy want speak. And I ain't gotta do no frontin' for the streets. Cause I ain't got no more jealous on my feet. But if I want them, I have nice swipe them next week. Ha, my young boys, yeah, they monsters. I have sick clearing at your roster. As long as you don't tell the boys who shot ya. My hammers niggas running down the head shot ya. Bow. Nigga, you already know. Guns, he got the pistol and Mike, he gon' let it go. When you see them backing out hammers, it ain't a show. Screaming free real and one day they gon' let him go. Whoa. You rapper niggas need some Oscars. They actin' but only pussies and boxers. I put all you pussy niggas in boxes. If I ain't got the hammer on me, I'm an auction. Whoa. From the sandbox Say what? Ain't nobody around me new Cause when I was dead broke There was no way to be fat But now I'm getting money And they coming out the blue I'm like who the fuck is you? And where the fuck was you?